Sassy Beauties and Bows, it's your girl Gina coming back through. Welcome to all my new Fancy Beauties and Bows. Thank you so much for your support. We have reached 5,000 subscribers over here. Yes, we did. Oh, yes, we did that, boo. So something is going to come up uh, for you guys for helping me reach this plateau okay but today's video is about this product right here so it's a new foundation by covergirl and it's a true blend matte foundation and it's supposed to be a comfortable foundation transfer resistant Okay, I've never had a foundation or come across a foundation that made such a claim. So we're going to be testing that part out as well. And I picked color D15, which is Warm 20. So we're going to go ahead, take a look at the packaging here. It's got a pump on it. And y'all know I'm here for a drugstore uh foundation that's gonna help us save money and that's gonna give us that quality of a high-end foundation so hopefully we can find that in this baby right here so i just pumped out a, maybe three pumps of that foundation and i'm just gonna go in with kabuki and but maybe we'll oxidize here after we get it set. Um, they have 40 different shades for us. So I'm going to see if I can insert a picture of the range of colors. So when I was looking at the colors, and I picked this up from my local Walmart out here, um, there wasn't two of the same, like in the same family color, you know what I mean? There was a nice gradient of colors uh, for you to choose from. So, so for coverage wise, I didn't see where it said that it was full coverage, so it is covering, and I'm going to say it's a um, medium to full coverage foundation that I'm getting right now. <laughs> What'd you say? Oh, my hair color. I was wondering what y'all was looking at. I'm like, why are they looking all over the place? And I'm sitting up here trying to tell them about this foundation. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll talk about the we'll talk about the elephant in the room in another video. <laughs> so there you are. That is what we're looking like. It's not too much of a difference over here and of course you guys know I'll take a look in the playback and see what the true color is if it's off or not but from what I can see right now we're all right so as you can see I'm I'm already mini beaded up and I'm just gonna add my Mascara. And this is the one from Shayla, Makeup Shayla. Her collaboration with Maybelline. And this is in color Black is Black. And since this is my first day rocking this color hair, not gonna do any lashes because I need to get used to this first before we go all in okay 
So next I'm just going to take my powder here and I'm going to use Maybelline to go ahead and set everything. This is 330, color 330. The other one I was using, I think it was Mocha. I felt was a little too dark for me uh, right now, but as summer begins to come in, I think I will be switching back over to 360. But for now, we're gonna try out 330 and see, and I think that is my perfect color for right now. And I'm not gonna do a blush or any highlight, anything like that. Um, I'm keeping my color scheme really, really neutral and um, not too dramatic. So, oh, 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 for Lippy, I don't know. Let's try this NYX and um, I don't want anything clashing. I exfoliated it. I don't want anything clashing with hair. Right, guys so I will be back in here 10 hours from now or so and we'll go over everything see if it is uh, transfer resistant um, we can actually do a little test with that right now so hold on all right so I grabbed a paper towel so we can actually see and I probably should have did this Oh, child. Before I um, put the powder on, but I do the whole thing before I get happy. Okay. So that's what came off, if you can see it. Not much at all. So, so far. So good, but we'll see this evening when I come in and I'll tell you guys how it wore for the whole day and the whole night. So stay tuned for that and I will see you in a few hours, guys. All right, Fancy Beauty some folks, I'm back in here. It is 9.35, okay? And I have had this face on since 9.30. I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and put that out there. So yeah, we've been rocking this here for, you know, a long time now. So I'm gonna come in here and uh, I didn't touch up anything. I left everything as is. So I can give you already some things that I'm a little concerned about when it comes to um, this foundation. So, we're going to start off with the obvious, which is I'm a little shiny in my T-zone area. Now, I'm not going to harp too much about right up and through here because when I put the foundation on, I was getting a glow. And I'm not getting that, I'm not only getting that glow with this foundation, but I'm getting that glow with other foundations as well. So right in here, I'm oiled up, and I'm oiled up right up in this area as well. So my T-zone. Um, but as far as the wear on it, now your girl will see my face a little bit today, more than normal, because normally I'm not in my face like that. But I was in my face, and I can tell you that I am seeing where the makeup has worn off a bit. Um, so yeah, the main thing I really want to test with this foundation is if it is 
transfer resistance. So let's go ahead and take that same paper towel that I had this morning. So that's the mark from this morning. We just gonna flip this on over, okay? And I'm gonna use this side that I just showed you. So let's go ahead and give this a test. And this is what So it's about the same. It may be just a little bit more because my 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 oil glands did seep through. <laughs> okay, and that's not the makeup's fault. That it's nobody's fault because the Lord don't make mistakes. Okay, so I'm just oily. That's all. But I have to say I do like the foundation. If you already have, you know, Maybelline Superstay, you know, this one here. If you already have this, you might be good. You might not have to get this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back and with another video. And I'm gonna compare the two of these foundations because it's a lot of hype going on around these two products so I'm gonna come back and get you that video up I may have to do that on my off day because what if one side looks <laughs> crazy and the other side you know what I'm saying so yeah this this might have to wait until my off day but be on the lookout for this video I'm gonna go ahead and compare the two and see what is really good in the hood so yeah guys and you know the deets on the on the hair is coming soon okay so you just stick on around here girl don't you go nowhere now him <laughs> but yeah guys so if you all have tried uh this foundation which is again the cover girl matte made okay matte made now i mean you know you see what's going on up and through here right so yeah but anyway matte made all right and I, let me say this too in defense of this foundation my skin is transitioning from winter into summer so I'm going to let everything balance out and do whatever it needs to do, you know, to see where we're supposed to be for the summertime. So for now, I am going to go ahead and say that she's matte, but she's not matte, if you know what I mean, okay? So, but that transfer, I'll give them that. I'll give them one out of ten. I give them, shoot, I give them a nine and a half because, I mean, really though, that's, that's not a lot. I get more than that with other foundations and on the higher end side. So, yeah, nine and a half, I give it to you. So, anyway, guys, let me get out of here. I will see you in the next video coming to you soon, right? Until then, you already know what you better do, girl. You better stay fancy. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.